Ladislaus Dominus was born 809 years after the foundation of the Kingdom of Etrand. Unbeknownst to literally everyone, including Ladislaus himself, he is in fact the great-great-grandson of King Bruant I of Etrand, being the great-grandson of one of the many illegitimate bastards Bruant sired during his reign. Ladislaus' early life was marred by tragedy as his father abandoned his mother as soon as she became pregnant with him. His mother was no better, leaving him behind shortly after. Fortunately, Ladislaus was saved and taken in by a group of wandering monks who belonged to the Fretinoarian order. Under the monks' guidance, Ladislaus received an education that went beyond mere literacy. He was taught theology and clerical magic, which provided him with an understanding of the divine that would influence his life forever. Moreover, the monks instructed him in the art of wielding blunt weapons, such as the quarterstaff, mace, and cudgel, which would serve him well in his future endeavors. As Ladislaus grew up, the monks began to realize that he was too restless and hot-headed to lead a life of monastic contemplation. They decided to give him duties that were more suited to his temperament, sending him on missions to aid knights and paladins in fighting evil. It was on one of these missions that Ladislaus developed an early sense of camaraderie with his partner Stephanus Tavilrond, which would shape his future friendships and alliances. Despite the bonds he had formed with his fellow monks and knights, Ladislaus's wanderlust proved too strong. At the tender age of 16, he became a stowaway on a ship headed to Tankutara, seeking new adventures in foreign lands. There, he joined a gang of traveling mercenary battle mages who would complete his training in the art of war. They taught him the ways of the warrior, honing his skills and retraining him to use arcane magic, which would later prove invaluable to him. In Tanktara, Ladislaus found employment with Nauki Jaba, a notorious crime lord who employed a group of mercenaries. During his service, he had a brief romantic relationship with Rayana Rudja, a woman who would remain in his thoughts for a long time. However, his true calling came when he was hired by Queen Imani of Ayube. Ladislaus served in her army, fighting against the Wandist cult, a group of fanatics who sought to spread their twisted beliefs throughout the land. He distinguished himself on the battlefield, using his skills as a battle mage and warrior to lead his comrades to victory. His charismatic personality and womanizing ways also made him popular with the ladies. He even challenged priestesses of oriental faiths into duels in bed, which earned him a reputation as a cunning and daring lover. Against the better advice of his companions, he developed a romantic relationship with Queen Imani. They knew the consequences. He did not. The Queen remained attached to him while he was growing restless, which compelled him to disappear quietly and suddenly. Eventually, Ladislaus returned to Etrand, where he met an old companion who was willing to vouch for him when he would seek employment. Although he was back in his homeland, the years he spent as a mercenary in the Orient had forever changed him. He was no longer the naive monk boy with wanderlust, but a cunning, womanizing, charismatic mercenary scoundrel who was quick with his wits, and even quicker with his sword. The adventures he had in the Orient had left a lasting mark on him, and he was determined to continue his quest for adventure wherever it may take him next.